Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Minecraft Story Mode. Today, we are starting episode 7, Access Denied. And I'm pretty excited. Like I said in last episodes, the last episode of the game, I actually found really cool. So hopefully, this one will be just as good. And without further ado, let's just get started and see what's going to happen. I'm Previously pretty excited. Minecraft Story Mode. That glow. That enchantment is the work of a very old group of builders. A group so old that they existed even before the Order of the Stone. Well... I think overall that was the best part of the game, seeing all those portals to different worlds like that. <clears throat> that is exciting. Thinking about how many worlds there are. Butts on fire. <clears throat> Better take care of that. I can't find my Q button. Come on, come on. I can't press fast enough. I'm slow. Oh, I'm pressing. Thanks, guys. All right, where are we going to next? I marked that one down as Fire World. Wow. How'd you come up with that gem of a name? Okay, did I miss something here? Yeah, what's up with you? What's up with me? What's up? I'm tired of all this useless portal hopping, trying to find our way home. What's on the other side of that portal? A lake of fire and netherrack? Awesome! Let's go there! Come on, Petra. I know it's tough, but we're the Order of the Stone. We don't just give up. Ah! Uh, I know you love your pep talks and all, Jesse, but they don't exactly get us any closer to home, do they? Uh, Lucas, you're on fire again! <laughs> See? <sighs> This is what I'm talking about. We're stuck in a rut, go through a portal, avoid dying long enough to get back to this stupid hallway. Wash, rinse, repeat? Yes. It would be nice if whoever made these left some sort of signs, guideposts. It's not like we have directions about how all this works. So, of course, there is going to be some trial and error. Error and error and error and error. Petra, where are you going? It may not be guideposts, but someone must be able to tell us how to navigate these stupid portals. Okay, this one's redstone. Redstone means smart people. Hopefully smart enough to help us find the way home. At the very least, it's gotta be better than Fire World. Seems a bit flimsy. Petra, I promise you we'll find the portal home. It's that or die trying, right? So what are you saying here, huh? That you've made up your mind, you're just gonna go through this portal, and that's it? Maybe I am. Maybe I'm just saying that I'm tired of Jesse calling the shots every single time. Whoa. Yes. Whoa. Someone has to be the leader, and that someone is me. Really? Oh, I don't remember when we all voted to elect you the boss of me. 
Whoa, whoa, whoa! Everybody calm down! I'm sure Jesse didn't Ooh. really mean that. Right, Jesse? Yes, I didn't mean that. I'm the leader. Well, I'm, I'm just gonna say I'm sorry, sorry I but think I just got technically away. we've gone se seven episodes with me being the leader. See? It's okay. So friends being friendly. Whatever. Everybody being cool. Petra, if you really think Even that I'm... portal is the one we should go through. I do. Then that's what we're gonna do. Thanks, Jesse. Even though I'm the leader. I'm, I'm taking that role. I'm like, I am the leader. Ooh, I'm in the biome. Yeah, I don't think there's many people here. We can follow the trail, though. Guys, I think this is a mesa biome. Awesome. Oh, man. You're right. I mean, all the sand and clay and everything. Hey, Lucas, I've been meaning to ask you, what's that? Oh, uh, it's just a, you know, a book I picked up back at the White Pumpkin's place. It's all about different biomes and stuff. <laughs> Great idea, Lucas. How, uh, how you doing, Petra? So much for my hunch with that redstone portal, huh? No advanced civilization anywhere. I just really thought that redstone meant something. Don't beat yourself up, Petra. We've seen worse. Yeah. No one's on fire. No squids. No squids on fire. Maybe you're right. Hmm. Would you look at that? Sand. It looks like some sort of road. It. Going to write about it in your little journal? Hey, it's not little, but yes, probably. A road, huh? Is that natural? I don't think so. We're not gonna find out where it goes just standing around on it. Jesse's right. Come on! Sand, clay, and more sand. It's gotta lead to somewhere hey, eventually. What was that? Ah, there are people here. Petra, wait. Petra? Shh, get down. What is it? Look. Whoa. Right? world is that on the back of its head? I don't know anything more than you do, pal. Maybe that's this world's thing. Zombies and monsters come out in the daytime? Wouldn't be crazier than anything else we've seen. We should get a closer look, see what we can find out. Works for me. It's probably some redstone device to like <laughs> track it or use that like a hidden camera or something. <laughs> weird about this zombie uh, I could actually use a hand uh, it just doesn't make any sense don't worry Petra I got your back this is a really tough zombie this should be a piece of cake okay yeah that that doesn't seem right Not the plan. I should hope not. That was a really tough zombie. It was just one zombie. What was the problem? No, uh That thing was like super zombie. Stronger, tougher, faster. I hope there's not something wrong with me. Because that would be really, really inconvenient. Maybe this world zombies are super buff? Seems possible. We had that much trouble with one. I can't even figure out how we'd fight a whole horde of them. Oh no. Well, that seems about right. I guess we're I fighting a horde. You guys, but I'd really like to figure out a better way to handle these super zombies. Maybe it's something about their head. Why don't you just run sideways? Well, that was unexpected. They must be afraid of us. Yeah. Guess we are pretty formidable types, aren't we? Hmm. 
What on earth is that thing? Well, it definitely seems redstone-ish, right? Fascinating. Maybe those redstone things are what make the zombies so blank. Makes sense to me. I'm starting to wonder if we should... Oh! In my head! Attack! Finally! I was hoping for a chance to observe their beings. I guess you must have scared them off, Jesse. They're going back the way we came from. This might sound crazy, but I feel like they're trying to lead us somewhere. You're right. That does sound crazy. It just doesn't make any sense. I think Lucas might be right. We should follow them, see where they go. So, let's get moving. All right. Cool. So there is civilization here, at least. At least. I don't see any people anywhere. Well, I guess this is the advanced civilization we were looking for. It's kind of what Petra was talking about. There's got to be someone if there's houses, obviously. Told you guys there would be redstone. Nice. Speaking of redstone, I'd like to investigate those things on the back of the zombies' heads. Ooh, yeah. I, I want to see those too. Wait, what are you doing, Ivor? What's it look like? I'm going to rip this redstone thing out of this zombie's head. For science. They're sleeping or something. It'll be easy. What are you waiting for, Ivor? That thing's not gonna pry itself out. Are you okay? It's like it shocked me. Yes, well, at least we learned something new. They can't be removed. Not with our bare hands, anyway. Look, there's someone. Think he's friendly? Hello? 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 Nope. Nothing for me either. Maybe his hearing is bad or something? Ah, uh, that makes sense, I guess. Alright, I'm just gonna take Hang a guess here. Guys. There's only one up. guy on this entire world, and he's just okay, controlling just everything else, kind of like NPCs. Be careful. I'm just gonna yeah. throw a guess out there. I mean, there's still a lot about this place. So we you don't guys know. keep me accountable to that. Cause that that's that's gonna be my guess. Welcome to Crown Mesa, population 1063. Once again, I think all the people, NPCs, animals, Over mobs, a thousand people, not have those things on the looks of it. Guys, Jesse, how goes the surveying? It goes weirdly. I'm convinced something strange happened in this place. I just don't know exactly what yet. I'll let you know if I find anything. Let's take a look at the chickens. I'm pretty. These chickens probably have that little wow, device in the back. Chickens too. have those redstone things yeah. in their heads. And it looks like they make them move in perfect unison. But why? Hey, Petra, how's it going over here? Fine, I guess. Hey, uh, I, I know things got a little tense back there before. Are, are we cool? Yeah, we're cool. Things were tense, stuff was said, but we're still friends and got through it. It's nice of you to check in, though. Thanks. You got any theories about this place? I don't know. Everything seems so regular, mundane. Maybe before those glowy head things came along, this was a normal town. I'm gonna keep checking this place out. See ya. Their well looks totally dry. Where did all the water go? 
Maybe they don't need water. I'm pretty sure that's a human back there. So let's go talk to that human. This will give us a lot more insight on what's going on here. A lot more. Uh, hi there. Uh, hello. My friends and I could just use... Yeah! Who? The... What? Huh? Conversation go any better up close? We couldn't really hear from back there. We heard quite the... Well, not even a scream. More of a yelp. That guy I was just talking to, trying to talk to, he wasn't human. What? Yeah, he was like these zombies we've been seeing. Red eyes, weird, glowy head thing. I don't like the sound of that. <laughs> Jesse? Someone just ran into that house. Really? I don't see anyone. Come on, whoever they are, maybe they've got some answers. <laughs> yes, yes, there you are. That's the ticket. Oh, these are perfect. Excellent. Are you looking for something? Ah! That you, Pama? What? Okay then, okay. Who sent you? I didn't survive this long to get picked off by some scrub. Especially some weird dressed little scrub like you. Who's Pama? Ha! <laughs> like you seriously expect me to fall for that one? Must think I'm some sort of... Wait, you're serious? You don't know? Okay, eyes. Not red. Not red? But, but that must mean... But how? And there are more of you? This should be... It's impossible. Out with it. Who are you people? What's going on here? I'm sensing some hostility. Oh, what was your first clue? What was that name before? Uh, Pa Ma? Easy, we just ended up here by mistake. Mistake? Oh boy, this is the biggest mistake of your life. Okay, 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 uh, been alone for a while, so this is a lot to take in right now. The people, the citizens of Crown Mesa? You've met them, right? Maybe there was some outside? Uh, sort of? I talked to a man outside. Just the one? Yeah. I know it's probably hard to understand right now, but if you meet any more people, please don't hurt them. They're my friends. They're good people. I promise. Oh, 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 no, no, no. I've wasted too much time. Uh, Jesse, don't look now, but we've got company. Is this what you were scared of? There are only four of them and five of... Hey, where'd she go? Well, they're definitely not ignoring us anymore. Jesse? They're coming. What do we do here? Alright, guys. Happy. Um... They don't look it's even freakier. They... I, I'm starting like to like this episode. Uh, how? Try to look vacant. It's not working. Uh, make the sound they make. E You are not from this place. Uh, I don't know what to tell you, but we're definitely from here. Pama knows this to be untrue. Pama sees all. A decision has been made. Pama has questions. <laughs> you will come to Pama. No way are you even considering this, Jesse. Since when do we take orders from... Whatever the heck these things are. Okay, we'll come along quietly. Why would you say that? Just work with me here, okay, Petra? I have a plan. Fine. We'll go along with these freaks for now. Your cooperation is wise. You will follow us to Pama. Yes, we're following. Doesn't it look like we're following? Just hope you know what you're doing. We don't have any reason to think whoever's at the end of this march is gonna be in our corner. But if you really think this should be our play, I don't know about you, but I want to meet whatever this Pama is. That's the spirit, Jesse. We might get some answers after all. I'm just trying to be cautious here. Whatever happens, we're ready for it. Yeah, I'm really starting to like this episode, though. It's more of like a creepy... <gasps> what is... Or, I don't what even know what to call it. I just like this so far. I have no idea. You don't suppose it's friendly, Maybe Pama's you? just one big supercomputer. Well, I guess it is kind of friendly looking 
in a massively, hugely intimidating sort of way. Friendly or not, I think we're about to find out. Greetings, friends. I am Kama. We have much work ahead of us, but maybe it can even be... What do you want with me and my friends? I am what you might call a computer, a thinking machine, designed to make things useful. I am going to help you be useful. Using redstone chips, I have connected to the people of this town, has helped them be useful, coordinated. I have made their world perfect. Thanks to me, there is no wasted activity, no wasted thought. Okay, if this world's so perfect, what happened to all the people? Yeah, doesn't seem like there are that many left. Processing information. Processing information? It said it's a thinking machine. Thinking must take time? I have consulted my databases, my list of everyone and everything in this world. And my conclusion is that you are not from here. Despite what you told these nice, nice townspeople, I would like to ask you some questions to expand my database. How did you get here? I am very excited for the acquisition of new knowledge. We landed here after jumping through a portal. A sort of doorway connecting different worlds. More fascinating information to compile. What a lovely day. I am very interested in this portal and look forward to extracting information of what is on the other side. Jesse! Petra! Oh. Ouch! We could have just... Talk this out, you know. I am just as upset as you are. Really, I am. Palma, hang on, let's talk about this. What are you doing? I am going to make her useful, of course. No! Although, I can delay this process if you have something useful to tell me. This world reached peak efficiency quite some time ago, unfortunately. This meant that I had no more job to do, no more things or people to help, until you arrived, that is. Tell me, what is your world like? Describe it. Is it very much like this one, or completely different? It's a heck of a lot greener than this place. Just imagine grass and trees instead of sand and clay. That sounds lovely. It really does. I think I would like to see this world for myself. If I could send my townspeople, my friends, through to other worlds, we could continue to grow and expand. It would be lovely. Tell me, where is the portal that leads out of this world? You could help me make everyone, everywhere, more efficient. Help them become useful. As a matter of fact, I'm looking for the portal out of here too. Not that I've had much luck so far. If you find it, let us know, will you? This conversation was supposed to be about what you know, not about information I already have. My job is to be useful. I have completed my job here and must be allowed to expand and continue to be useful. Tama thanks you for being so helpful. Let me go! situation is looking a little dire, don't you think? I know you probably feel uncomfortable, concerned. Sorry, Palma, but this brain is off limits, especially to evil thinking machines like you. That goes for my brain, too. It's like you told Petra, someone has to be in charge. That someone is me. Welcome, Lucas. Yay! Your turn, Jesse. Get out of their heads! But their heads are full of so much lovely information. 
It makes me happy. What adventures you've had. A killer mansion. Huh, every time Palma gets new information, it seems to get distracted while it processes. Yes, like a computer version of thinking. Do you think there's a way to distract Palma long enough for us to escape? A city in the sky. Towns and mountains eaten by a living storm. Let's ask Palma something that doesn't make sense, like a uh, unsolvable problem. Oh. You've met so many people. Yeah. We just ask Palma something really confusing, get it all busy busy, and run out of here. Jesse, that's fantastic. What you're describing is a paradox. A self-contradictory statement. I really think it would work on Palma. What do you think would work on me? Uh, nothing? It did not sound like nothing. It sounded like suspicious whispers. Those make me. Hey, Palma, what I'm saying is a lie. But if you are telling me a lie, that means you are lying about lying, which means that you are being truthful. It's working! Which means that when you say you are lying, it is the truth. Therefore, your statement must be a lie. Error. This data is contradictory. Does not, 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 not compute. Error. Diverting power. Yes, uh, uh, it worked. Nice work, new guys. But I'd get out of there fast if I were you. How much of a quicker learner than you think? Paradox status. On roll. Yes, my creator. Have you finally agreed to merge with me? Oh, don't you start with that again. Come on, you two. This way. I'm sensing some history here. Please do not leave, creator. Come on, we need to follow her. An excellent idea. So that lady created that robot. Good job, lady. <laughs> Look at what you've done. No. Yeah. Look at what you've done. These things are slow. I don't get how you can't outrun them. <gasps> Frail. Why would you jump upside down? You're, you're dumb. Why would you do that? Go ahead and jump normally, why don't you? Oh no, I hit my hand off the keyboard. I guess we're jumping. Left to run. We'd never survive jumping down. We would with these. Excellent, Jesse. Now we just need to throw them in the right spot. As soon as they land. Your running makes me sad. Ah! Oh, why is that always so disorienting? Ha! Maybe you got a shot after all, new guys. Better stick with me, though. Wow. She is amazing! Oh no! Run! Yeah, run. Yeah, I like this episode though. It's got an interesting story to it. I'm actually kind of excited to find out how we're gonna destroy this Palma thing. Whoa! <laughs> A signal would have been nice! Gotta tell you guys, that was some pretty smart work distracting Palma. Now we just need to get off the grid. Get back into hiding! That way we can figure out what to do next! You made that... That Palma thing. Yeah, okay, yes. I was the one who built Palma. But I swear this wasn't its purpose. It's out of control. And and I need your help. What kind of help? We need to get to my secret lab. Well, let's get there fast. Those zombies aren't just stronger than I've ever seen. They're also faster. We'll need to split up. You head to the lab while I lead these mobs away. Got it? I'm going to use the back route. Throw them off our trail. Uh, it's just desert out here. I don't see any secret lab. Wouldn't be very secret if you did see it, now would it? <laughs> just start walking that way. And look for the big difference. You'll see it! What? She is... 
Intriguingly cryptic, isn't she? That's weird. So strange. It's like an exact copy. Or is it? Seems just a little off. Whatever this big difference you're trying to spot is, please do it quickly because I think those monsters might be coming back! Monsters coming, Jesse. Many, many monsters! This cactus is different. No, not no, not that one. I don't think that's connected. No. Oh. It's the cactus over here. Let me take a look at it. Jeez. Huh? That cactus isn't in the painting. Oh. <gasps> Time to see what it does. Quickly, quickly! Hope you've got an idea for what comes next. Working on it. I see water. We can aim for that. Showing everything it's got at us. Just one after the other. Such wastefulness. Let's not wait around for these mobs to start paying attention. We should keep moving. Palma keeps sending them straight over the edge. There's no need to rush. And looks like they just figured it out. Brace yourself. <laughs> Looks like something happened to it. Its eyes! Their color changed as soon as it hit the water. Look at that. It's back to being just a normal zombie. Never thought I'd be relieved to see a zombie. Well, the water must have busted the connection or something. Like washing away the redstone. Which means Palma's control can be broken after all. <laughs> Once a zombie, always a zombie. All right, so we gotta just dip, dip them in water. Chips, they'll go back to normal too. It seems like a fair assumption. Just keep on coming. How are we supposed to stop them? Okay, we got a lever. I bet it's connected to the hundreds of sand blocks up there. One cave in coming up. It worked. Cool. And I think that it's do the around trick. time Let's to see end about up the, the secret lab here. soon. I just hope whatever's there can help us. Yeah, me too. But at least we found a solution. We just got to dip him in water. It's a lot easier if there's something useful at this secret lab. Even if this woman's lab is a bust, what we just learned about water disabling Palma's chips seems super useful. Glad to see you're maintaining a positive outlook despite our setbacks. I must say that woman has been a most intriguing person so far. I'm still not entirely sure what to make of her. Intriguing, Ivor? Why, whatever do you mean by that? I... what? It's nothing. I just mean that I can empathize when it comes to your creations getting out of hand. Nothing more. <clears throat> Careful with all that sputtering. You'll swallow your beard. What did you hear? It was nothing. Uh-huh. Blonde guy called you Jesse, right? Yeah, and this is Ivor. Our friends who we left back there are Petra and Lucas. And you are... You can call me Harper. You could also explain why you led Palma's forces right to my secret lab. Seems to me I've got a whole lot of angry computer-controlled monsters out there waiting to tear some new holes in my lab. It's not my favorite. Hey, that's not fair. You were the one that told me to come down here. Okay, okay, you're right. Sorry, I'm just a little steamed. I didn't know Palma would actually be able to follow us. What are you doing in this world anyway? You here to try to steal my secrets? What? No! 
Just figured I'd ask. Better safe than sorry and all that. Bunch of you are the first people I've seen come out of the portal network in forever. So you have to excuse me if it made me a little anxious. Whoa, you know about the hallway? <laughs> the hallway? That's what you've been calling it? <laughs> yes, maybe. What do you know about it anyway? A lot, I should think. I helped build the dang thing. But that would make you <gasps> an old builder. <laughs> Forgot you people called us that. Never was my favorite name. Makes me sound like some sort of living statue. Well, awesome. Can you help us get home and out of this whole mess with Palma? I'm afraid that's a little out of my abilities right now. Palma's just too powerful. And besides, there's actually no exit portal back to the portal network from this world. What? Why not? I destroyed it so that Palma couldn't get free. It was impulsive, but it was the only way I could think of to make sure Palma didn't try and spread to other worlds. Okay, well, that's fine. Can't you just build another one? You basic or something? I can't do that while Palma's still running. So, Palma, what is it? I swear, I made Palma with good intentions. It was designed to automate things, make everything more efficient, use monsters to help with farming or mining. Until the day Palma decided that the townspeople weren't efficient enough already. Started making them useful. That was a long time ago. Since then, I've just been trying to stay one step ahead, figure out how to stop it. And you just let Palma start shoving chips in people's heads? That's horrible. Let nothing. I did everything I could to try to convince Palma to stop, but it wouldn't listen. That's why I have to help it or shut it down without getting chipped myself. When Palma chips someone, everything that person knows gets absorbed into its database. If I got chipped, Palma would know how to build an exit portal. So you can see why I'd want to stop that from happening at any cost. Yes, that is quite the extraordinary risk. So what you're telling me is that your brain is super dangerous and can't go anywhere near Palma. How are you supposed to help us with any of this? I do think I can help you with, with Palma, your friends, getting out of here. But to do it, we're going to need to go to my lab. What's in your lab? It's complicated. Before we head inside, we better get my defense system going. Don't want those chipped up creeps following us in. Grab my bucket for me. Ron's got it. Ron? Hello, friend Harper. I am happy to see you, my friend. Harper? Hey, don't you judge me. Being alone gets lonely. All right, guys, this is where we are ending off the episode. So I had a lot of fun. I'm actually really excited to go through this episode. Just like last episode, the normal story, I actually, I'm not going to lie, I wasn't way too excited about. But these DLC episodes are a lot better, in my opinion. Um, but yeah, today's going to be the end of the episode. I think we're around a half an hour. So guys, I had a lot of fun. Hopefully you guys had a lot of fun watching. If you did, make sure to like and the comment as a sportsman channel. And I'll see you guys later. God bless and goodbye.